going to share with you tonight. May it be a blessing to each one of us. And again, thank you for, for the blessing of you and your birth. In your name, amen. Please enjoy the program.
For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And while I could beguile you with their stories all day, perhaps it would be quicker if I sang you a song. <clears throat>
I've always worked to ensure my legacy can be like those of my ancestors. I want to be known. It has always been my goal. But a few nights ago, something happened. I don't know what happened or why I feel this way, but maybe recounting it will help me understand it better. It happened like this. Week one. We could just let the donkey carry the pillow. Then you could sit on the donkey too. I told you. Joe, what do you think it'll be like? Well, he'll probably cry and wait his diapers, and he will sleep, I hope. But he can't be like the other children. What if we are good enough? Mary, God is good enough. We just have to let him lead us. He will show us the way. And did they have a ways to go yet? I never was a fancy donkey, and I tried to work hard. So when my master, Joseph, was getting packed for the census in Bethlehem, I felt the weight of the importance I was being saddled with as I carried Mary and the feather pillow. I felt like something joyous was about to happen, and my heart leapt inside my chest, and, just, and without warning, I began to sing. Do you know these people? Are they traveling with you? How long are they planning to stay? 
I mean, I've heard things, but it's not for me to disclose. The animals have been whispering. The farmers, the chickens heard the farmers directing them to the stall. Mama, the cow says they're from Judea. A filthy place. The chicken said they'll be here all night. If not longer. The horses said that they arrived on a donkey. I can see that. I hear she's pregnant. Pregnant? I hope she doesn't have a baby here. Mayor, are you okay? Joe, I'm not sure. I think it might be time. Oh, time, time, oh. Where's the donkey? Add the blanket. I'll get some hay! <laughs> well, the crisis is development. I wonder if Ba uh, Linda knows about this. Usually, I don't say a word. But they seem to be headed for a stall anyway. She'll know soon enough.
I wish I was something different than a rat. I've tried being other animals. I tried to convince the frogs that I was a mouse. But they croaked and laughed and told me that mice were cute. And I was much too big and scruffy to be a mouse. I tried to convince the birds that I was a possum. I didn't think they'd know the difference. Possums aren't cute. But when they chanced me to hang from the tree branches by my tail, well, let's just say I walked with a limb for a whole week. I don't sing very well, but I always felt that my story was best summarized in song. So, I've enlisted my cousin Brazen to be my voice for me. I do the intro. <laughs> and said, what a beautiful red baby I've had. Look at his wrinkly skin, his tiny nose, and that perfectly hunched over pose. I was unhonored among the rats. I, when I was 10 days old, I had my first stick. And though I cared to play, I never got sick. I was excellent scavenging. My belly was round. I was the first to scatter the softest of sounds. But when I left home, just 20 days old, turns out there was somebody I'd never been told. don't seem to trust me. Even when I'm doing nice things, they all just assume I'm a dirty, no good rat. And so I travel a lot. Last night, I found a great big field that I knew would be safe from foxes because there were several shepherds looking after their sheep. So then I said to them, my name is Malkar, King of the East. Uh, tell me they did not fall for that. Well, not at first, but then Eliezer convinced them. He was so funny, he rushed in and said, is that King Malkar from the East? He looks just like a sculpture. You should have seen their faces. We were escorted the rest away on horsebacks. It was my first time ever on horseback. I'm pretty sure they could tell that you look terrified. You don't, what, you don't think I could look like royalty? Maybe, if you got a haircut, and a new outfit, and if you changed your voice slightly, you need some bass. Nana, King of the East! Not all kings arrive with a booming voice, you know. Well, almost all kings do. What is that? Who are they? They look like... Like... Angels! They saw me! They looked right at me! Nobody ever looks at me. Oh, I hope they're not offended. Try again, Mary. It's getting late. You need rest. Joe, can you help me sing that song? Maybe it might help me relax.
sat there listening to the song. I began to sing along, and my out-of-tune voice, I think it was the first song I'd ever sung.
that? Who is disturbing my sleep? Oh, it's a baby. That is the tiniest human I have ever seen. <laughs> He's so squishy. This is God and he's ours. God? This thing is God? I thought God would be more hardworking. I thought God would be more regal. He's perfect. I suddenly remember something my great-grandfather William, the royal one who belonged to David, had said. But, but you, Bethlehem, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and call him Emmanuel. My heart began to beat faster. We have always known there was a hope ahead of us. I remember something my grandfather told me when I was just a little Jack. Therefore, the, the Lord will give a sign. A virgin will conceive a, a, a Lord, and it, he will be found in a stable. This was him! This was him! This tiny little baby was the hope that we donkeys have looked forward to since the world began. And I got to see him? My heart began to beat faster, and once again I felt the urge to sing and dance.
recognized that there were four there were four female teachers that also kind of banded together and got the vision for tonight when the above and beyond did it all twice as well. Um, and Nina uh, Engelbrook, she wrote the whole Christmas play and the, with the producer, director, and everything else. Um, De Debbie Silva, who somehow made everybody from kindergarten to grade 12 sound good and sing up here. Michelle Rusk, who worked with the grade 6 classroom, helped produce the whole program and did that wonderful bamboo dance and choreography. So with those four teachers, please come forward again for all of December and all of January. Thank you for your love and your mercy. May this be a great new year in your name. Amen. Amen.